George Washington. He had a set of false teeth made from a combination of materials, including human teeth taken from his slaves, animal teeth, and ivory. John Adams. Adams and his wife, Abigail, exchanged more than 1,100 letters over the course of their lengthy relationship. Thomas Jefferson. He spoke six languages, including French, Italian, and Latin, and was an accomplished linguist. James Madison. At five foot four inches tall and weighing barely over 100 pounds, he was the shortest, smallest, and cutest U.S. president. James Monroe. He was the last U.S. president to wear a powdered wig. John Quincy Adams. He frequently skinny dipped in the Potomac River and was known for his morning swims. Andrew Jackson. He taught his pet parrot, Paul, to curse, causing a ruckus at his funeral when the parrot had to be removed due to its profanity. And he also might have killed a man in a duel. Martin Van Buren. He was the first U.S. president to be born as a U.S. citizen. Previous presidents were born as British subjects. William Henry Harrison. He delivered the longest inaugural address in U.S. history, which lasted over two hours in cold weather, subsequently catching pneumonia and dying a month into office. John Tyler. He had 15 children, the most of any U.S. president. James K. Polk. During his term, Polk secretly purchased a number of enslaved children for his Mississippi cotton plantation. Zachary Taylor. Old, rough, and ready, never voted in an election prior to being on the ballot himself. Millard Fillmore. He installed the first bathtub in the White House, although the story of his introduction of the bathtub is a historical myth. Franklin Pierce. He was arrested during his presidency for running over an old lady with his horse, but the charges were dropped. James Buchanan. He is the only U.S. president who never got married. His niece, Harriet Lane, served as his first lady. Abraham Lincoln. He was a licensed bartender and co-owned a tavern in Springfield, Illinois. Andrew Johnson. He was the only tailor to become president, having worked as a tailor before entering politics. Ulysses S. Grant. He was once pulled over for speeding while riding his horse and was fined $20. Rutherford B. Hayes. He was the first president to use a telephone in the White House. James A. Garfield. He was ambidextrous and could write in two different languages simultaneously with each hand. Chester A. Arthur. He owned 80 pairs of pants, each in the exact same style and material. Grover Cleveland. He underwent secret surgery to remove a cancerous tumor from his mouth, conducted abroad a yacht to avoid public knowledge. Benjamin Harrison. He was the first president to have electricity in the White House, but was reportedly so afraid of being electrocuted that he would never touch the light switches himself. Grover Cleveland, again in non-consecutive terms. He got a rubber jaw prosthetes after undergoing that surgery. William McKinley. He was the first president to use a telephone for a campaign in his 1896 bid for presidency. McKinley's likeness appears on the $500 bill, which was discontinued in 1969. Theodore Roosevelt. He had a pet badger named Josiah and a one-legged rooster named Uncle Jerry. William Howard Taft. He got stuck in the White House bathtub, leading to the installation of a larger one. WW. <laughs> I mean, who you figure that is, huh? Walter White. Willy Wonka. Woodrow Wilson. You got me. Woodrow Wilson. He kept a flock of sheep in the White House lawn to help with World War I fundraising efforts by selling their wool. Warren G. Harding. Prior to taking office, Harding wrote a series of lurid love letters to his mistress, the wife of one of his best friends. Calvin Coolidge. He had a pet raccoon named Rebecca who lived with the Coolidge family in the White House. Herbert Hoover. He and his wife spoke Mandarin Chinese in the White House to maintain privacy. Franklin D. Roosevelt. He served hot dogs to King George VI and Queen Elizabeth during their visit to the United States in 1939. Harry S. Truman. He was an avid poker player and once won a White House poker game with a pot of $600. Dwight D. Eisenhower. He played golf so frequently that he installed a pudding green on the White House lawn. John F. Kennedy. He had a collection of pets, including a pony named Macaroni and dogs named Charlie and Pushinka, 
a gift from Nikita Khrushchev. Lyndon B. Johnson He owned an amphibious car and enjoyed surprising visitors by driving into a lake while shouting that the brakes had failed. Richard Nixon He had a bowling alley installed in the White House basement. Gerald Ford He worked as a fashion model in his early years, appearing on the cover of Cosmopolitan. Jimmy Carter Look, it's Jimmy Carter! He filed an official report in 1973 after witnessing a UFO in Leary, Georgia. Ronald Reagan He was a lifeguard during his youth and saved 77 people from drowning while working on a beach near Dixon, Illinois. George H. W. Bush He celebrated his 75th, 80th, 85th, and 90th birthday skydiving. Bill Clinton I did not Bill Clinton Clinton played the saxophone and famously performed on the Arsenio Hall Show when he was a candidate for president. George W. Bush Bush holds the records for the lowest and highest approval ratings in the history of the US. Barack Obama Prior to becoming the first African-American president, Obama won two Grammy Awards for the Best Spoken Word album. Donald J. Trump Before becoming president, Trump was a real estate developer, entrepreneur, and host of the NBC reality show, The Apprentice. You're fired. He's also the only president to be impeached twice. Joe Biden. At age 78, Biden became the oldest president in the history of the US. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel for more videos like this one.